Hi, this is Sean Higgins, and in this video, we're gonna show you how to make money buying tax lien certificates. Have you ever wondered who's buying all these tax lien certificates? Is it the big bank? Who are they anyways? They need to be you, and in this video, we're gonna show you how to do that. In this video, not only are we gonna show you how to make money buying tax lien certificates, we're gonna show you how to financially thrive and provide financial independence for you and your family. And stick around, at the very end of this video, not only am I gonna show you how to make money buying tax lien certificates, I'm gonna show you how to explode your retirement account doing exactly this. Also in this video, I'm gonna show you how to take a very small amount of money and turn it into an extraordinary amount of money. I'm talking about a $100 investment and turn it into thousands of dollars. So stick around and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, in this video, not only am I gonna show you how to make money with tax lien certificates, but we gotta talk about what they are. Because fundamentally, I think a lot of people miss this. What is a tax lien certificate? If you don't understand how it got there, you're not really gonna understand how to make money with it. Okay, so let's talk about the most important thing with making money with tax lien certificates is understanding what they are. Tax lien certificates have been available in this country for over 200 years. That is very important to understand, okay? Because listen, this is your hard-earned money. You can't get that money back. And if anybody's ever paid what I call the dumb tax, in other words, done something with your money that you're on, oh, that was dumb, okay? You know that you need to be careful with your money. So let's talk about fundamentally tax lien certificates and what they are. First of all, they're not a fly by night. They're not just popped on here. They've been available in this country for well over 300 years. The oldest tax lien certificate I've ever seen on record was in New York, actually in Brooklyn, New York, dated um, 1698. That's 100 years before we even became a country. I've said before in other videos, Thomas Jefferson, our third president, lost Monticello because he failed to pay off or pay his property taxes. Again, this has got tons of case law. So there's the safety side of it. On top of that, okay, you're gonna make money because the county needs this money. Let's talk about this. What are property tax lien certificates? That's what they are. They're taxes on property that somebody has failed to pay. And the county says, you know, we kind of need our money. Really? Why do you need your money? Because the county functions based on property taxes. Okay, the number one thing that the county is going to be using property taxes for is schools. Probably 55, 65% goes towards schools. Then you've got fire department, then you've got law enforcement, then you've got medical service, then you've got libraries, bridges, I mean, et cetera, et cetera. County needs this money. Okay, so there's that there. Then the county says, okay, we've got to motivate people to pay their property taxes. So if they don't, the penalty or interest rate is going to be substantial. That interest rate can be anywhere from 12% up to 25%, even in some cases, 36% on your money. So think about this for a minute. If you're getting 18% on your money, do the rule of 72. What that means is you take 72 and divide the interest rate in it. That answer, it's just a weird mathematical formula, will tell you how quickly your money is going to double. And at 18%, it's going to happen real quick. So if you put your money in the bank at, say, 4%, and you put your money in at 18%, a $5,000 investment is going to blow up to a half a million dollars real quickly, whereas this other money in the bank is still gonna be way down there. So there are some factors in there. So you're gonna get high interest rate, this is how you're gonna make money, plus the underlying security, and here's the kicker, okay? How do you make really big money with tax lien certificates? It's not just in the aspect of buying the tax lien certificates. Some counties offer a opportunity to just buy the property for the back taxes, that's right. So what the county does is they say, wait a second, we're not going to sell the lien. We're going to give them even more time. But after, say, like in California, they say after five years, enough is enough. So they're going to conduct a tax sale on the property for the back taxes. No interest rate, no redemption period. You put the money up for the back taxes, boom, and you own that property free and clear of all liens and encumbrances. Because the county, before they bring it to sale, has foreclosed on that, 
and all other liens and encumbrances have been wiped out. In other words, they've given the banks and everybody an opportunity to say, hey, guy hasn't paid his property taxes. You may have a loan on this, but it's gonna go away once we go to sale. So when I walk in there and I put up the money for the delinquent property taxes in that situation, I own the property free and clear. This is how my students and myself are buying properties for pennies on the dollar. Let me give you an example. Let's say I buy a property, it's $238,000. I pay $30,000 in back taxes, I own that property. You're saying, well, what kind of property is it? It's a $230,000 property, ARV, which means after rehab value. I'm assuming I'm gonna have to rehab on that property. So what I'll do in that particular situation I'm thinking of, I'll go in there, I'll put about $70,000 into that property, give or take. Okay, so I've got $100,000 into the property. I can either sell it for $230,000 or I can sell it for um, $100,000 and make seventy dollars like that. There are so many different exit strategies out there. Okay, this is crucial. This is important. You must know what you're doing. So let's backtrack. This video is all about making money on tax lien certificates. What you don't want to do is make any mistakes. And let me tell you something. The mistakes you can make are plentiful. If you're a beginning and novice investor, for instance, I can go in there and go to the sale and not realize I need the money right away. I can sit there and go, what do you mean I got to bid down the interest rate? What do you mean I need to do? Just because there's a lien on a property doesn't mean I want to buy a lien on it. Well, Sean, you just said it's paying 18% and I get the property. But is it a property that you want? Think about this for a minute. What if the property is, I don't know, 10 feet wide and 100 yards long? I don't want that property. That's probably the reason they're not paying the lien on it. What if it's in an area I just don't want to buy a lien on? What if it's demolished? What if it's condemned? What if, what if, what if? There's so many things in there that you need to consider before just plopping your money down and said, Sean said, no, no, no. You need to do the research, okay? And there are 10 points. Let me put it this way. The first point that I ever teach somebody is not anything about tax lien certificates. It's what's your objective? What are you trying to create? And once we figure what that is, we understand how many liens, how many deeds, how many properties, how many research we need to do, and everything you need to go with that. And the good news is this. You're going to love this. Okay, I've got a brand new course that I want to give you for free. You heard that right. Free. Zippo. Zero. All you have to do is hit the link down below. Higginsmethod.com. Higginsmethod.com. And this is my gift to you. It's a brand new course. And it's going to show you how to do all the research and everything else you need on that. This is Sean Higgins saying God bless and good luck.